Tyler Perry requests second autopsy on nephew to determine if it was a mother or suicide. Tyler, however, said and quote that um, he wants to be clear that the family is not a family of conspiracy theorists and they want to believe that there was no foul play um, just as the sheriff had said publicly. So this news of the death of um, his nephew broke yesterday. We, we, we didn't get to talk about it, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. he released a statement same yesterday. Um, giving a background of how he landed in jail. He basically shot his... Killed his um, father. father and and he mother. was sentenced to 20 years in prison. And Tyler was saying that he hoped that he would serve his time, um, do the and time basically, and then him. come out to work for him. Now, you could call him naive for thinking that way, but that was what he hoped. And unfortunately, this has happened. But based on the things that we know happen in the prison or in the correctional system that they would like to carry out another autopsy to be sure of what really happened. And from what I saw as well, there was a fight before this whole suicide thing. So I think it's safe for him to want to take carry out another autopsy and um, let's just see what the result will be. I mean, it's very common in the prison cells to have um, a lot of cases where it's covered with suicide, but it's actually murder. Mm -hmm. um, but. I'm just hoping that they get the closure that they're looking for. When I see families getting involved and there isn't a very strong enough case to see, to ask for another autopsy, I just get really sad because it looks like the family is the one just trying to get that closure. So I'm hoping that they find that. And if it is in fact correct, and this is not a sentimental thing and it's actually on a, on a good um, instinct, I, I really hope that they find that in their second um, autopsy. I also like that they're using somebody more popular that has an integrity on the line um, to get a different type of you know um, perspective on on the autopsy and, and the findings in there. It's it's just really sad. I know that um, Tyler Perry has, very, has been very open about his upbringing and it's kind of his stories kind of reflect his you know his upbringing and stuff. It's been pretty intense and kind of crazy, um, and it's just sad to see a young person um, cut off like that. Was it naive to think that he could? serve his time and go back to work. I don't really think so. I mean, the kid was young um, and you never know, like he could have gone earlier than 20 years for good behavior or whatever, and then given the chance to start again. But being in prison is not as bad as dying. And so this is like no hope, it's done, it's finished. And it's kind of heartbreaking. So my heart goes out to him for that. Yeah, so um, aside that, this guy got into a fight with another inmate. Um, and was kept in solitary confinement. So, and we've seen, well, <laughs> I haven't seen, but I've seen movies where you get in a fight and then they make your mother look like suicide. So I get where um, Tyler Perry is coming from. So like you said, I just hope they get the closure they're looking for because um, this guy, I don't think he has any reason to kill himself if you ask me, mm. because um, he's already serving the sentence and he didn't, opposed the what's it called now the verdict against him he pleaded guilty to manslaughter voluntary manslaughter and all of that so there's a man that was ready to do the time for his crime so i don't think that's the kind of person that would want to kill himself so i feel there's something fishy in this story as well so let's just see let's just watch this space and i like you rightly said let's just hope they get the closure they're looking for